Hi, welcome to my cooking show. Come on in. We are in my fifth season of what we traditionally call Cook with Joy. But you know, this season, I'm really focusing on recipes that are both nutritious, of course, we're always cooking vegan and gluten-free, but also simple. And to that end, I asked myself, if Derek or my daughter Jake could make this recipe, I think anybody could make it. So we're the lowest common denominator of cook. I didn't want to say that, but you know, I'm just, I'm kind of trying to reach out to people who might need a little help. And so Jake's not with me today, but she's going to be with me in some of the episodes. And I just, I want to introduce you all to Jake and Jake's going to tell you a little bit about what she <laughs> thinks about some of the recipes that we make. Well, so when I was growing up, uh, my mom was the health conscious cook that she is today still and uh, I was always a kid in kindergarten who showed up to school with my basket filled with tofu and vegetables and I was so pissed because all of my friends had Lunchables and Capri Suns so I thought that pretty much sucked and as I got older and I got more into sports and as a now as, a, as an adult athlete I'm so appreciative that my mom fed me that way and I learned to eat that way and learned to like those types of foods and what's cool about this show is that, and about these recipes, is that they're so simple and they taste great. So for anyone who is um, trying to learn how to eat more of a plant-based diet or someone who is um, really busy but wants to continue eating the way that they know that they should, these are so awesome. And these burgers and sausages that she's making on this episode are, oh my God, they're so good. I absolutely love them. And they're an easy assembly thing, which obviously I like. I'm super excited to be part of this season of my mom's show, which I think is now called Cook with Jake and Joy, right? Thanks, Jake. I can't wait to see you. Um, but today, you're going to love the recipes that we're going to make because I know that you love the recipes that we're going to make. And, you know, Derek, I know you don't think this is really cooking, but it is. It is really cooking. It's like preparing with joy. It's kind of like preparing with joy. I think in my second season, wasn't it, Derek, that we did uh, bean burgers? That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. I think we were out in Boulder doing it. And we, they were great. They were great burgers. And... You know, someone who isn't a vegetarian or a vegan probably wouldn't go, oh, yum. You know, they probably wouldn't have loved, loved, loved them. But they, but they were really good. And then last season, we did a vegan hot dog recipe. And I actually really love those. But, but hold the presses because I discovered a company that makes a hot dog and a hamburger that I don't think that anybody who's like a meat eater, I don't even think they would know that this is a plant-based product and it's, it's phenomenal. And today I'm going to show you how to put them together and how to use these products as a delivery system for getting more plants into your diet. Does I will be good? the guinea pig You're, for that anytime. I know. I, Derek always shows up starving to death. So I got to figure out what's the first dish that I can make for him that's going to make him not be starving to death. So here we go. Okay. So I don't know how many of you have heard of this brand name because it's everywhere now. Hopefully you have. In fact, A&W chain in Canada is using this brand name in every one of their chains. You can get a Beyond Meat burger at their drive through restaurant. I think that's crazy. And we're also going to introduce this bratwurst. This product took them so long to develop. And once they had it, Whole Foods was carrying it, but you could never get it. You'd go in and I mean, this is like $8.99, I think a package. I think you can buy them. I was told at some of the discount stores, a lot less expensively. So you might want to check that out if you live somewhere that has like a food for less or something like that. But this, this is an amazing product. Amazing. I was waiting so long to try this. And the reason is, is that it took them so long to create it. When you get a veggie dog you just hope that it doesn't have a bunch of crap in it a bunch of stuff that's going to like kill you but this actually has pea protein rice protein it has um just uh, this fava bean protein it's amazing 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 and the the beef burger also it's not beef it's faux beef has pea protein in it so it also has beet juice in it to give it the color it's just it's too cool because so it looks just like meat. it does it looks exactly like me in fact they keep it in the meat department so when you go to the burger section they have this right next to it it's 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 crazy so how did you get it if everybody wants it well now they have them now you can get them it's awesome and I'm going to show you how to put them together in a way that is like a delivery system for more vegetables so you can get your family even healthier and they're really, really, really going to love it. And what I love about this dish is that it's simple to put together, simple, 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 and the stuff that you can add to it is just, it's just full of nutrients. So you're going to love this. Simple works for me. So great. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cook the patties and the brats. Now, when I first started making these, 
I was using a George Foreman grill because I thought that was healthy, you know, but it compressed them and they were, they were still really delicious, but they were compressed. So I recommend that you either use an outdoor grill for these or you cook them on the stove like we're going to do today. Come with me. Okay, let's get the brats going first. And we're going to do this just like a traditional brat house would do. We're going to put onion on the bottom and then put the brats on top so they really get nice and oniony and delicious. So I've already cut up some onions and onions are really full of quercetin. Some people call it CoQ10. It's a great antioxidant. It's also full of antivirals, antibiotics. Not wait, anti wait, antibiotics? No, not antibiotics. So if I'm <laughs> sick, I should eat onions. <laughs> well, you should actually, but it's antibacterials. Antibacterials and antivirals, not antibiotics. Antibiotics. I try to stay away as much as I can. But let's add those to the pan first. And you know, this pan is so funny. I've had this pan since I was in college. I think I bought it for a dollar at a rummage sale. And I love this pan. And I know that I shouldn't. It's Teflon. And I should not love this pan. But I do. And I keep using it. I can't find a pan that I love more than this one, except for the pan that we're going to do the, the burgers in. So that's going to be fun. I'm just going to open these up. And I'm going to experiment today. Normally what I do is I cut them in half. Doesn't that look like a bratwurst? Isn't that does, crazy? Yeah. I mean, isn't that crazy? I'm going to do one not cut and then one cut. And What's we'll the difference? I don't know. We're going to see. I usually do them cut. And they actually have oil in them, so they, they release oil just like they would um, if they were, you know, a greasy hot dog. But they're not. I don't have to add anything to them except for the onion and the, and the meat, well, the faux meat. So we're going to get that going, and then I'm going to cover it so that it kind of gets nice and steamy. And then I'm going to start the burgers. Okay, and let's add the burgers now. And these are very, very simple. We're just gonna put them in a pan. Nothing, you know, easy peasy. If you were doing them on a grill, which you know, there's a lot of controversy over grills. Like, do they have carcinogens? Do you grill, Derek? I love grilling. You do? So easy. Yeah, men You're like talking to about do simple. That. What's the more? Well, what's you gotta more... clean it all up and everything and all that stuff. And, and I don't know, do you use charcoal? Uh, no, I use gas. You do? Okay. Simple. All right, so let's get this going. You may have noticed I'm in a new kitchen and it's, I don't love it as much as I loved my last kitchen. It was great, but I love my location because I'm right by downtown. Wow, I just about blew the kitchen up. That almost became arson with joy. Okay, let's just add that to the pan and we'll get another one going in here because I know you are hungry, Derek. You're probably gonna eat let's both go. of them. Yay, yay, yay. And then we'll cover those as well. Now it doesn't take, now you gotta remember you guys, this is not meat. So a lot of times people are like, how long should I cook it? Well, you can eat it raw if you wanted to. It would not be as delicious, but it's just pea protein. That's all it is. So we're just gonna let them get nice and brown on the outside. And that's more for aesthetics than anything else. Okay, so now that that's cooking, we're gonna get all the other stuff together, right? That's the fun stuff. So we've got all of these uh, uh, condiments. We've got tomatoes and avocado and red onion, and we've got uh, chopped up pickle and lettuce. This is gonna be awesome. So for me, with the hamburger, I'm gonna use a lettuce wrap. There are some really good gluten-free buns out there. I mean, this, is, this came from Trader Joe's, and these are really good. So if you wanna have a bun, you can have a bun, and it's great. You can also get pretty good hot dog buns. The best buns that I found are at Sammy's Kitchen, besides my husband's, of course, but Sammy's Kitchen has these great um, gluten-free buns, but they're often out of stock and I couldn't get them in time. So I've got Udi's and they're pretty good. And what we're gonna do to make them even better is we're gonna add them to the pan where the hot dogs are cooking. Wait, you're gonna put the buns in the pan? Yes, they're really good. Really, really, really good. Okay, so we're just gonna add the buns to the pan. Oh, that where, looks like real meat. I know, isn't that crazy? So we're gonna add those on the top, and those are gonna get like kind of oniony, kind of, you know, juicy. Your mom probably did that growing up, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So I think these hamburgers are done. We're gonna shut those off. Let's have a look. Yeah, those look perfect. I mean, look at how much that looks like a burger, Derek. Oh, uh, hooray beet juice. I mean, isn't that crazy? Look at that. Love it. That's awesome. So those are done. We're just gonna add those. I'm gonna put one on a lettuce wrap for myself, but I know you probably want yours on a hot dog bun. Do you want me to get your hot dog bun on, I mean your hamburger bun all juicy like that That would too? be great. Would you like that? Okay, yeah. we'll do that. Just like my mom used to do it. Yeah, just like your mom used to do it. We'll do that. We'll put these together and we'll show you the print finished product in the finished product in just a second. Easy for you to say. Yes, easy for me to say. So we're gonna use lettuce. This came off of my vertical garden. It's amazing. Look at the roots still going. It's fantastic. My tomato also came off of my garden. And then we're gonna use avocado and some red onions and some chopped up pickles for the hot dog. And I like to do pickle slices or cucumber slices on mine, but Derek said no, so we're not doing I that for his. I didn't say no. He did say no. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look how amazing this is. Now, wow. 
It's so great. I did have some friends over the other night and I made exactly this. And then I did a yam and a little side salad all made off of my vertical garden. And it was like to die for. One of the guys actually wanted seconds. I couldn't believe it. He had a hot dog and a hamburger and wanted another hamburger. <laughs> And another yam. It was crazy. We put all the accoutrements on it, but you can dress it up any way that you want. And I just think that this is a simple meal that can be really fun. You can use it for entertaining, but it can also be on the fly. And you can use this as a delivery system for all of the goodness that you want to get into your body on a regular basis. And here's the thing. It's so simple that even Jake and Derek could make it. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Challenge accepted. That's right. Next week, we're going to bring you another simple, delicious, vegan and gluten-free dish that you can make right in your home and you can learn to cook with Joy and Jake and Derek. And really, maybe we should just call this show Cook With Us. How about eat with us? Or eat with us. But don't you love that show, This Is Us? Mm -hmm. I love that show. So it could be like that, right? Maybe, maybe they want to be on our show. <laughs> That's invited. We should see. That'd be awesome. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for being here with Cook With Joy. Let's eat. Bye.